Hi everyone and welcome to the second episode of Downtime Weekly. I'm Rob Ski. I was the host of the last episode, but today uh, we have our guardian angel, Walter P. with us. Welcome everybody. So Walter, take us through the news of the day. Yes, today I'll be covering uh, ESPN, which has recently cut hundreds of jobs, Pokimane capping her Twitch donations, uh, a couple console updates from what we know or what we learned this week from the PlayStation and Xbox, upcoming releases, as well as a couple interesting Xbox uh, console mm -hmm. artworks. Um, and then I'll be capping it off with uh, Kiyoshima, a French major champion, uh, maybe retiring soon. So mm. we'll see, stick around. And I'll be going through some uh, K-pop uh, goodness for League of Legends. I'll be going through the BlizzCon line, Apex Legends, and finally, a piece of heat. Apparently got banned on Twitch. We don't want that, but apparently Twitch wants that. And uh, that's the episode for today, mm -hmm. so uh, let's go. All right, ESPN just cut hundreds of jobs, and esports was not one of the areas that was spared. Following the acquisition of ESPN by Disney, an internal email made the rounds stating COVID as a contributing factor for this move. Journalists like the esports writer Jacob Wolf and Emily Rand were among those affected. The Esports Observer also posted recently that the Esports Observer has also learned that ESPN is moving away from the way it currently covers the esports industry, with sources saying the company will focus more on video content. You'd think that they would invest more into esports, considering the scene is continuing to produce content, whereas traditional sports is struggling with COVID. You never know. We here at Downtime would like to extend uh, our hopes, our thoughts with, uh, with those who were laid off at, uh, at ESPN, and we hope they can find work in the near future. So, good luck, guys. Meanwhile, in the Twitch scene, Pokimane introduced a donation cap to her channel. She decided to work with Streamlabs to introduce a maximum of $5 donation to her channel, stating that fans should support growing channels, charities, and treat themselves instead. She contacted Streamlabs and so, with them, set a custom max donation amount at $5, stating that anything more than that was unnecessary. She thanked her community for supporting her through the early days. Here's the clip. I worked with Streamlabs in order to create a custom donation cap of $5 on my channel. I think this might be the first time they've ever done that, I'm not really sure. Um, I just really want to thank you guys for supporting me when I was in high school, when I was in $20,000 in debt in university, to the very, very lucky place where I am today and where I consider anything more than that just unnecessary. Tyler One also chimed in with his own unique view on why he should adopt the same policy. Thank you, Nathan, for that $100. Dude, I seen that uh, Pokey did the $5 bullshit. Who can only max $5? I need to do that, honestly, because I cannot stand fake reacting. I mean, if people send $100, and then I feel like an asshole if, I don't, if I'm not like, oh my god, whoa. That's crazy. But the people are too stupid not to do that. In my opinion, it's their channel, it's their choice. I personally give them props for what they're doing. I think it helps the grassroots scene and those who are a little less fortunate than they. Let us know what you think down in the comments section below. All right, everybody, exciting news now about these upcoming next-gen consoles everybody's been waiting for. The Xbox Series X will be coming out on November 10th and the PS5 on November 12th in the Nordics. That's my birthday, you know what to get me. On to what we've learned this week. PS5 launch day ordering will be online only this year. Due to everything going on right now, they obviously don't want people camping outside of the stores waiting to get their product. However, you will still be able to pick up your pre-orders, so at least there's that. Consoles now finally catching up to their PC competitors. The PS5 will let you know how long you have played your games for, including your previous playtime from the PS4. For those of you who are more Xbox inclined, Xbox is launching a live stream celebration on the 10th of November at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Gaming, showcasing everything they have to offer. Make sure to tune in. Now, something we've really been looking forward to here is the launch of Ruined King. It's a League of Legends story, a single-player, turn-based RPG set in the League of Legends universe. Launching in early 2021, it'll be available on PS4, PS5, Xbox, Steam, and Epic Games, so it's gonna be an interesting one. There's a little too much to cover in this video, so we've put a video in the description so you can go and check it out on your own. 
Now on to some really exciting news. We here at Downtime have managed to get our hands on an Xbox Series X, thanks to the lovely people over at El Gigante. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing coming out very soon. Keep your eyes on this space. Following the theme of console news, in a recent tweet by the Xbox Pope himself, there will be a one-time only giveaway for a special Borderlands 3 Claptrap Edition Xbox Series X console and controller, with the Xbox Pope as the judge of the competition, which launches on November 9th. The Pope is an artist who has been creating fan art consoles and controllers since 2017, and well, quite frankly, it's pretty amazing. Check out his Instagram for all his lovely artwork, link down in the description, as per the usual. The competition will go live on November the 9th, so make sure to follow 2K United Kingdom on Twitter for more updates. In other custom Xbox news, if you like The Mandalorian and you are an Xbox user, then this might just be for you. As tech, pop culture, and gaming are things that we all can appreciate and enjoy, we just wanted to show you this beauty. Launch date on the 31st of December, you can pre-order these already. Mandalorian Xbox Control. I mean, god damn. This isn't even an ad, we just, we just like it. Just look at it. Look at it, it's beautiful. And now on to some less exciting news. The French major winning player Kiyoshima feels like he may be retiring soon. Following a loss to Apology, a team of rather unknown players, the formerly formidable Frenchman put out a thread on Twitter saying, la fin de ma carrière s'est approche à grand pas. Which, for those of you who don't speak French, means the end of his Counter-Strike career is approaching quickly. As well, he stated that he is finding it harder and harder to find happiness as a competitor. Whatever Keo decides to do in the end, we are in full support. I, for one, would love to see him move to a desk role or something of that matter, but at the same time, I would be saddened by the idea of such an illustrious career coming to an end. Whatever you do, Keo, we're with you all the way. Let us know what you think down in the comments section below. A little more league news now with some tunes. So in 2018, KDA, this virtual K-pop band, was announced and the characters Ari, Akali, Evelyn and Kaisa was the singers in this virtual K-pop group. This was a huge hit from the get-go with the community. And in the upcoming album from League of Legends, K-pop group KDA, they will be adding several new singers from the actual K-pop group called TWICE. Four members will be joining in the fray, Gio, Neon, Sana and Chayong, I hope I pronounced that correct, will be featured in the song I'll Show You. The Riot has yet to announce what characters they will be portrayed as, but this is probably, probably going to be a huge hit, so check it out, follow Riot and uh, see for yourself in the future. So, moving over to some Blizzard news. So BlizzCon is usually held, well, basically last weekend, but uh, this year not so much because of you know what. It has still been postponed to February and it will be held online, being called BlizzCon Line. Yes, much puns, very much appreciated. Uh, on November 2nd, Jay Allen Brack shared that BlizzCon Line will also be free to watch for everyone. Usually to watch BlizzCon, you have to pay like a battle pass to get involved, but now everyone can be involved following this February. So for cosplayers out there, there is usually this huge cosplay show at BlizzCon. Now for BlizzCon Line, there won't be this huge stage thing, but there will be a for fun showcase of cosplay based on Blizzard's universe and is open for all levels or skills to participate. Check out their site in the description below for how to join. Apex Legends tweeted out that they've seen their community complain a lot about the current battle pass in the system and on November 6th they shipped out changes to their battle pass system with more to come. We put that tweet in the description down below, check it out, leave some comments what you think about it. Respawn Entertainment, who's the studio behind Apex Legends, got a lot of backlash on how the battle pass launched with the new season. And now they're getting backlash over changing it. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Welcome to the world of gamers. So a piece of shit gets banned. Not a piece of shit, but a piece of shit on Twitch got banned. Previously on TV streamer Piece of Shit has recently been issued a community strike and a ban on his channel due to his name. He's been active for like eight years and now he gets a ban? He has been banned before because he fell asleep on his stream. Now apparently he can't sleep while streaming, but you can eat while streaming. I don't know, eating, sleeping, Seems like uh, just chatting to me, but that's just us. After being active for more than eight years, he gets banned for an inappropriate name. A 
piece of sheet. So a piece of sheet gets banned. Lighten up Twitch, there are more things to consider. And with that, the second episode of Downtown Weekly is over. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'm Rob Ski. I've been the co-host for this time, together with Walter P. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for coming along for this ride. That's at Walter P underscore TV on every platform. You know, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, uh, and Twitch. Just drop me a follow. You know where to find me. Remember, guys, that this show is brand new, and we're still getting the hang of things down here at the studio in Stockholm. Shout out to ESM for letting us use this place. Um, we're going to be adding new features to the show and uh, experimenting with ideas in the future. Some will be stupid, some will actually be good, so hopefully we'll be able to produce some good content. Now, we put out our first video last week, we have received some comments that we're going to read out soon, and keep on commenting our videos, even if it's uh, like criticizing something we're doing or criticizing a person maybe being a bit too stale or something. It is okay to criticize as long as it's not like hateful. actually attack. Yeah. No hateful stuff. Let us like, know. Let us let, know. We need to learn. Like as, like Walter said, this is a new thing for us. We need to learn. We're just gamers, but actually producing content is not something we're used to. New space for us. So let us know and uh, yeah. hopefully we can uh, improve the content we deliver. We also have social medias. We have a website. We have Twitter and Facebook. Maybe we'll get a uh, Instagram. Possibly even on OnlyFans, I mean. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, share, and subscribe as per usual. Leave comments down below. Again, more comments, we need it. We love it, we love it. Speaking of, we've got a couple comments to go through, I believe. Yeah, right. let's go through those comments right now. Victor Vidblom commented, great stuff, keep them coming. Thank you so much, speaks dearly to me. Peter Lum commented as well, great, can't wait for Cyberpunk and Dreamhack, keep it up. Thank you very much, brother. I think we share the same enthusiasm oh. as you do. Looking forward to playing that game and hopefully attending events in the future. So, thank you for your comment. And a dear friend to me and another friend of mine, Comet Glue commented, Bing has actually 12% of market in Sweden. What? But it's an older crowd using it. I know, don't hate the boomers. I don't hate myself, so please don't hate us boomers. And uh, why boomers are using Bing, I don't really know. It's probably just as good. Probably works, it's searching. It, uh, you know, it does the thing. Apparently good enough for League of Legends to actually have some skins on the Bing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was weird, but anyway, thank you Comet Glue for the comment. And remember, spam those comments spam down them. below. We need Drop them. Drop the bombs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 no, no, no bombs. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you once again for tuning in for today's video. There will be another one next week. For now, I gotta let you know, we're gonna be giving away this limited edition, first edition downtime mouse pad. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's smooth, headshots guaranteed. So let us know, comment, you know, hit us up on Twitter. Everywhere we're gonna be doing this giveaway, uh, you'll see the information out there. So thank you all for watching.